hi everyone welcome back on life untouched if you have not subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any important updates as required by users i'm uploading this video for those who can't update their device using my previous video however i suggest everyone to try my previous video as it is way more safe just don't waste your time and begin first of all you have to download smart switch on your device and on your laptop or pc so once you have installed your smart switch connect your phone to your laptop and open smart switch on both the devices once your device is connected to your smart switch you will see the backup option click on backup it would backup your device in some time it will take some time to back up your device once your device is successfully backed up close the smart switch and remove your device now you have to look at your firmware you have to download as told in my previous video you can check how to download how to find your correct firmware so that you, do, you can download so go to the same mobiles and click on firmware and click on download latest firmware make sure you download the latest firmware otherwise it can break your phone and write your phone model number here You have to download it. You have to join this website so that you can download the firmware from here. So once you have successfully downloaded the firmware, now you have to download Odin to install this firmware. Use the link in the description to download Odin. Once you download Odin. Start it. Now start Odin. Make sure your device is hundred percent charged. First of all, turn off your device. Now you connect your device to your laptop or PC using USB cable. Now you have to go into download mode. Press the power button, big speed button and volume down button at the same time. So once you are in the order mode, select OK by using the volume up key. So what you have to do is now click on AP. And locate that the form, locate the firmware that you have downloaded. Once you have located, select it and click on open. So now to proceed further, click on start. It will start download installing your firmware. So once it's installed, success would be written over here, and your device will restart. Now once your firmware is successfully installed, you will get the latest software. You will get the latest firmware. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and share. And do subscribe if it works for you.